Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Popovich, and welcome to Bookworm's Fear Street Retrospective, looking at R.L. Stein's classic YA 90s horror series, where your worst nightmares live. Today, we deal with our blind girl story. There's not much else to say. It's the blind girl story in Fear Street. The horror writes itself. This is book number 49, Into the Dark. Or... Paulette has been blind since birth, but that hasn't stopped her from living a life. She could get around perfectly well with her cane, and her years without seeing had made all her other senses much sharper than most people's. And she's starting self-defense classes too. So, does that mean she's a female daredevil? Anyway, Paulette comes across a boy named Brad, and he seems nice. The two seem to hit it off, but Brad comes with baggage. The rumor is that Brad got in major trouble back in Springfield, Jonathan replied. I heard he got arrested. No way, Paulette gasped. For what? Some kind of robbery, Jonathan said. And since meeting him, Paulette will find threatening messages on her bedroom wall, and Brad will give her weird phone calls. You've been thinking about me too, haven't you? Haven't you, Paulette? I know you have. I couldn't feel this way unless you did too. I, we hardly know each other, she protested. That doesn't matter, Paulette. I know all I need to know. You feel the same way. You have to admit it, Brad said. Sometimes he can be nice and kind, and other times outright creepy. It's almost like there are two different versions. I wonder what that could mean. And of course, she takes it as a joke or just weird timing and doesn't think anything really bad about Brad. What's the worst that could possibly happen out of it? The footsteps have almost reached her. They didn't slow down. Who's there? Paulette screamed. Why won't you answer me? Two hands slammed into her back. She flew into the street. She landed hard on the asphalt. A car horn blared. Tires squealed. The cover is all right. Paulette walking blindly towards a staircase with no clue it's there. Not something that happens in the book, and I feel it could have done more. Like having a creepy version of Brad looking by her without her knowledge. But this is an okay cover. See no evil. The book itself did very little for me. Even though having a blind character separates it from the others and offers some easy scares, it just didn't do much for me. It's pretty standard and the reveal is not that shocking. It falls into the same traps of rush explanation, paper thin motivations, and an ending that ends without resolving any of the subplots, like how her friends think Brad is the bad guy. It's not bad, but I've seen the same plot so many times that it's just nothing new to me. Sure, the blind girl is something, but I've seen Wait Until Dark, have you? If not, you should. Great film. The book follows the same skeleton outline. But take that blind away and you just have another standard Fear Street book that can easily be skipped. What about you guys? What are your thoughts on Into the Dark? Let me know in the comments. Give a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want to read it for yourself, I love buying options below. And don't forget to subscribe as Fear Street reaches its final victim. Till next time, have a scary day.